What we have here at Nottingham University, we have a five-axis water jet machine, an Ormond one equipped with KMT pump. Since we received the new capability here of five-axis machining, and what we found out actually over the years that the more difficult to cut materials are not that easy to be tackled with the current uh, available machining processes like metal cutting. So we thought that uh, water jet machining can give us paramount advantages in machining difficult to cut materials. Uh, not necessarily aerospace materials, but we, we can talk about composite materials, which are more related to fuselage, but also related to uh, more, even more difficult to cut material, uh, ceramic material, even diamond we cut with the water jet machining. So the capability of the process are endless, and we thought that this is a, a very complementary research topic with what we are doing here at Nottingham University. Every time people associate water jet machining absolutely with this zero thermal effect. But actually, when you cut the titanium alloys, you can see sun sparks. We have done the right analysis and looked that there is no thermal damage. And we see here in Nottingham for the first time that with water jet machining, you can even cut diamond, which is quite, quite surprising if you think that uh, the industry is spending hours and hours cutting with the electro discharge machining if the material is conducting, but there are some uh, particular composites of diamonds which are not conductive, so we replace uh, much slower pro technologies like uh, uh, laser machining. So uh, the, 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 the applications are endless, nickel-based superalloys, titanium-based superalloys, and we have done uh, some interesting work on composite materials, even uh, uh, carbides, titanium-64 and uh, titanium-based superalloys. So, the spectrum is quite large. We are looking for advanced methods of using water jet machining to mill surfaces. So cutting through is somehow a technology well established in industry, but uh, milling process is still uh, being researched. And we have done some interesting results there. And some of the results already have been implemented in the company, which are partners of the project. So it's like taking the water jet and start moving it in five axes and also adjust the speed of the jet in a such a way that you generate free forms. So at the moment, for example, we have developed a particular method to monitor the process, to detect the depth of the uh, material you are removing, but also a braided fruit print. That means how much we penetrate. Even complex features in uh, silicon carbide, and even in composite, you have seen, we, we are able to take layer by layer and uh, generate uh, pockets. And people working in industry, they know how difficult it is to generate free forms without masks. So all the, all the features we are generating here in milling mode, they are without masks. If you put the right equipment on the machine, the one of the elements is KMT pump also, the others are hormone five axis machine, and uh, easy to maintain. And also, we also Im implemented one of uh, KMT feeders. We found it very, very useful because it has an analog output and gives us a good control. We also imp implemented a pressure sensor very close to just above the orifice, just to make sure that there, is no, there are no fluctuations of the, of the pressure. In the Conform Jet, we developed our own uh, uh, process monitoring setup meaning we put an acoustic emission sensor on the focusing tube so we can sh make sure that there is a constant and good flow of the particles, there are not uh, the, any deviations. But also we put some uh, sensors on the part to detect uh, uh, the penetration of the jet. Our machine here at Nottingham University is well equipped and we have a full understanding of the process, not only from parameters point of view, but also from the inspection uh, a foreign point of view. I'm surprised uh, what you can do with water jet. We can now is cutting with water with titanium and nickel and uh, very hard material and you will be surprised. You can mill, control mill. You can control the depth with uh, layer by layer. It depends how, how many micro you want to move. You know, you can remove coat layer by layer. You know, if it's aerospace uh, component has multi-coating, you can remove whatever coat you want, which just surprised me. You can control depth if you like. Over the years, we established it's a friendship with KMT. It's very excited research and the equipment to use. And uh, we also intend now to develop a robotic system using the, the same uh, KMT pump. So we will have uh, two, two systems with the multi-axis. And uh, apart from that, we have uh, the machine is well equipped with the process monitoring uh, system for pressure, for acoustic emission, for forces, for jet diameter measurement and also more recently for scanning the parts in situ. 
So this, are, this is doubled with the fact that we have full access to our metallurgical equipment and all this embedded in 10 years experience. Probably that is more important than the equipment itself. And this is uh, the only EU project at the moment in water jet machining where we hope to, to deliver a control system for water jet machining that will be the first one in the world.